Hi, this is Maha Bali from the American University in Cairo here in Egypt. And I'm joined and with... I'm Mia Zamora from Kane University in New Jersey. Um, and... I'm Henry Morgan. And Henry's my son. <laughs> <laughs> and he's joining us and inspiring us today. Yes. Um, so uh, instead of anything that requires pair work, uh, me and Henry are going to do the work in front of us right now. So uh, today we're talking about checking in activities for community building. I think in this time of the pandemic, we need to recognize that there is trauma happening to everyone everywhere uh, on a level that's beyond anything I think we've ever seen before around the world too. It was, it's not like a war in a country, it's everywhere. So I think it's really important at the beginning of a class or any meeting, honestly, to just check in how people are feeling today. Or now, even. I think it's like we're in a coaster where a roller coaster where you might be feeling okay for a minute and then really bad another minute. Um, and so these are four different activities that you could do uh, to just warm up the class, but also just let them know you care, I think, genuinely about them. Um, and you could choose one that's your favorite and just keep repeating it consistently if that's your thing. I like to actually change things around a little bit. Um, but still keep that element of checking in with students. Some of them take a little bit more time than others. So the simplest one, which you can do even if you've forgotten to make a slide for it, and it would work on even asynchronously if you have a discussion forum or whatever it is you use, is just how are you feeling today? Type a word in the chat, word or a phrase. And I can just unshare and focus on the chat. And I'm going to ask you guys um, to type how you're feeling today. Great. That sounds longer than a word or a phrase. Oh, it's a word, just one or word. Or super Kelly fragilistic XP Okay, go. <laughs> okay. Oh wow, that said, that sounded a lot longer than happy. It was, and then I had to delete, realizing it was only one word. Yeah, it's a, when when they're just two or three people, it's okay. But when they're like 30, 40 people. If everyone wrote a bit longer, inspired. Oh, that's so sweet. So normally in the time of pandemic, you get a lot of overwhelmed and exhausted, but also some people being excited. And what I do as people write those is that I read them out and respond to some of them and say, oh yeah, I, I'm exhausted too, or I was exhausted yesterday or things like that. And say, oh, I'm glad that some people are excited, you know, that kind of thing. Just recognize. And sometimes I refer to someone saying, oh, Henry's inspired, you know, that's, that's really lovely. Um, and usually I would do this, if I'm recording a session, I would usually do this outside the recorded part if it's a class. Uh, if it's a workshop or something, I keep it in. But mm -hmm. All right, so at the end of this, after we try the four activities, I'll tell you which ones you like the most and which ones made you feel like you could express yourself the most. Uh, this one is the simplest, and I, I personally think it's one of the best ones among them. Uh, but it's also, you know, sometimes nice to check. So the next one is also one that I really like. So this one requires you to either share your slides with people or ask them to take a photo with their phone of these pictures. And the idea of it is to ask them how they're feeling, ask them to choose one of these pictures, um, tell them you're gonna put them in breakout rooms with one or two other people, ask them to discuss um, how they're feeling based on one of these pictures, like which of these pictures represents how you're feeling right now. And this is a, the, the, I copied this from a workshop that I was taking another Liberate Instructors workshop. And what they were saying is that this is an activity you could do while you're waiting for other people to come in. Mm -hmm. So just giving some people a chance to chat like you would in a room where the first people who come in chat with each other. Yeah. Uh, but it's just giving them something to talk about because not everyone knows how to make small talk over nothing. Right? Mm -hmm. Um, and then, yeah, give them like three to four minutes to discuss that. And um, yeah, so I'll give you just a second to look at the pictures. So normally I would send you out into a breakout room with two or three people, one or two people, so you'd be able to two or three. Uh, and you'd pick a picture and say which one is representing how you're feeling. And so we choose the picture that sort of most align with the things we're feeling right now, yeah. or it feels that way. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. So whichever one of you is ready to go first. I'm going to choose this picture of a father and a child 
looking in a reflective lake um, and the child is pointing at something. And I just chose that because I feel like as Henry sits here and does these warm up activities with us, it's like peering together into worlds we share. And Henry is an excellent facilitator in his own um, you know, social groups online. And sometimes I'm um, aware of his skills that way. And I know that I also have those skills in my own world. So it's kind of nice to be together looking at that reflectively. So that's why I chose that picture. All right. And while you were describing it, I used the annotation function, which we're going to talk about soon, uh, to just highlight which one you were talking about. It's pretty obvious which one, but just in case the pictures are more similar. Henry. Uh, I'm going to choose the, um, the picture of the fire mm -hmm. because it, the fire is usually where people gather around and we are kind of, this is kind of what we are doing right now, and it's kind of symbolistic to that. Yeah, it's kind of like a fireside chat. <laughs> oh, I love that. Um, and I'll also share, uh, I was actually looking also the father and son thing um, and thinking about how, oh, here, here she comes. <laughs> how I'm seeing the world differently uh, through my daughter's eyes. Yeah. Uh, and also, also because Henry is here. Yeah. Um, they probably can, yeah. This is Mia and her son, Henry. Do you want to join Hi. us? Do you want to tell us which of, these, which of these pictures represents how you feel right now? Okay, you're not ready for this. What? What? No, I Do you want to tell us if one of these pictures represents how you feel right now? Uh, how I feel right now? Yeah, uh, which of these pictures does that? Uh, okay, I'll, I'll just circle. Mm -hmm. Yeah, go ahead. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Um, right now, so right now, I think it's like dancing. Yeah, dancing. ah, that's how you're feeling? Okay. But, uh -huh. And I'm going to show you like, so what I feel sometimes. Mm -hmm. Mm. Mm -hmm. right. How are you interpreting that? Sometimes it's easier you see a picture and that's how you feel. It's sometimes easier than actually saying in words. Sometimes, yeah. Um, actually, this thing is just... Mm. Oh, it's getting in your way of seeing the picture. Yeah, so... Mm -hmm. so This video is going to be on YouTube at some point, so we can cut this part out. No, no, okay? no, I want this. I'll show it to no, you. No, 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 no. I'll I, show it to you. No, I still, I still want, I still want. You want to stay in it? Yeah. yeah. Okay, great. It's, yeah. up, it's up to you. Yeah, so what I feel sometimes actually the mm -hmm. other thing. Mm -hmm. um, sometimes I just feel this power. Yeah? <laughs> Is that what you meant, or do you mean something else? Yeah, it's so tight. Look at it, it's so like... Okay, tight. we're gonna move on to the next activity. You wanna stay? Yeah, yeah, I really... Okay. Henry loves Minecraft like you, by the way. Yeah. yeah. Cause Mia was telling you about it. Hey, can I actually do something with that? That's what I'm doing. This, we're definitely gonna cut this part out. No! It's gonna be like... Well, cut the part out where I say like... Hey, hey. Okay, fine, all right. So I'm gonna... Unless I'm if gonna, you don't. <laughs> <laughs> okay, I'm just going to move on to the next slide. Okay. So, um, what this is the slide that I saw in a workshop, but my, um, my boss created this slide that we use in our workshops at work sometimes. So, slightly different that we thought represented a little bit more. Of, so, you can play around with the pictures, obviously. We used all yeah. images that were okay to have no attribution, just so that we could make sure that we're okay with copyright and things like that. You could also use personal pictures, like um, from your campus or your life. Just with Mia, yeah, nobody else. Oops, I clicked on one of the pictures which had the attribution on it. All right. Yeah, um, can I, can I, can I pick two? I'm gonna let you, oh, you wanna pick one of these? No, can we just move on? <laughs> <laughs> sure. 
Okay. All right, the next one is gonna involve annotation. So first of all, with the images that we were using before, we, you could use the annotation as well, like I was doing. Um, or you could actually ask people to annotate and not talk. And then you just see that a lot of people are choosing the fire picture for talk. But for this one, these are just instructions for how to do annotation. It helps, makes it a bit easier than having to explain to people because people will always not remember how to do it if they don't use it regularly. Yeah. Um, so, so here's one. It's a way to ask people how they're feeling, but without asking them to talk out loud or to type anything specific. Um, this one just asks them to annotate and say, along this triangle, they feel more towards isolated, calm, or tired. And you want to use, under annotate, you want to use the stamp option. And then you can put like a tick or a star or a heart. So. I'm can I, can I, can I? Yeah, you can do one. Okay, you so. Do the, I'm doing the star and you can do the heart. And then Mia and, can I, can and Henry can, I, can, can do Can I circle it? Because I like You can it. circle it if you want, yeah. So how, how are you feeling along this spectrum? Obviously, you can do different words. You can do several spectra. You're tired? Yeah, because it's that time. Also, I feel... You feel calm as well? So maybe you could be here in the middle. I'm... No, that's too much. You're feeling isolated? No. Yeah, I didn't think so. So we're all closer to being calm, and you're also... Calm? Why did this... Okay, some people will do that. So if you do this with young kids, they might Ow. end up doing that. <laughs> So keep that in mind, you know, you might open Ow. a Pandora's box. Hey, let me go back to my chair. Okay. And I just realized that this says pin where you're joining from. Obviously, this is like a legacy from something else. <laughs> oh, yeah, that's from the globe or the map that we've used. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. Okay. okay. All right, so I'm just going to clear all the drawings. Oh, and so man. again, you would do this and you would recognize how people are feeling. The last one is one that's fun. Um, it's text-based. It's just, how are you feeling today? You can type a word or phrase at a time, but you can add multiple answers. And you just ask people to either use the QR code over here. I'm using something called Slido. You can also use other, hey, can I, can other I, can tools. I, can I? Yeah, I'll put it on my phone. I'm just going to join Slido on my phone, and I'm going to put in this <laughs> number. This is like some of the quiz tools you use in school, right? Yep. Okay. So like, there's this thing mm -hmm. where... Uh, I can't remember what it's called. You know, Is it quizzes? Yeah. Um, so I, uh, I can't really remember. Okay. So I'm just, I'm here it. on my phone going to Slido and entering that number. You just did it And then Arabic Huda, you can type a word for how you're feeling today. Type one word. <laughs> <laughs> I typed the wrong thing in. What did I you wrote. say? What did you say? Slido, slowdo.com. <laughs> 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 slow down. <laughs> What's slow down? I don't know, but now I've got the right one. Okay. J. Okay. Six. Oh, does it have to be a capital? Okay. Yes. Go right. right. I feel like. Just say the word. I want to laugh. Okay. Want to laugh. You write one. Okay. Um. Let's say that. that. <laughs> Why are such finding an adjectives difficult for me? Um, <laughs> okay, you can go. Right. Okay, where? And this is going to start showing. Yeah, Why? so you're feeling a bit bad about the typo, but it's okay. What's <laughs> <laughs> mellow? Mellow is, uh, she's asking you what mellow means. So if someone writes a word that you don't kind of like relaxed and going. That's it. <laughs> okay. Well. And so what happens is that if more than one, I just type the same word twice. Hey, can if, I, can I do if it more again? Than one, do it again? If more than one person types the same word, it appears it larger. And that's why it helps if you write one word. Uh -huh. Henry hasn't, hasn't typed, right? Give him a chance. He, he did excited. I'm thinking. Oh, you, oh, oh, he no. didn't know. Oh, okay. I did excite it twice. You did excite it. I was doing it a third time. <laughs> so, so which one of these um, did you guys like? We might need to, we might need to redo this video. But <laughs> <laughs> I, so I really like this one because I like the fact that there's a way in which 
if some people ch are choosing similar word or the same word, it becomes more and more prominent. I like that word cloud feature because it gets, um, you know, you get a feeling for the room and the vibes. Yeah. The without, without identifying the people. Right, exactly. There's something about that too, like that um, you just are taking a survey without having people. I also just like in the chat, the first one in the chat, and then, you know, it gives you a chance to acknowledge people. And I was just thinking about the fact that, especially in American culture, there's this kind of um, typical, how are you, you know, greeting. Mm -hmm. And it really, well, you don't really mean how exactly. are you. Exactly. You're not asking how a person hello, is. Hi. It's just a default for hello. But um, I have hello and hi here. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Oh, no, 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 yeah. I want to do it again. <laughs> oh, you like that one, huh? That, that what about the pictures one? I think the pictures one works well with, with I'm not, I'm not a particularly visual one. person, but I think it, it helps if you didn't have anything to say, it helps you think about Yeah, it helps you sort of relate to certain things. I, I like how there's a layer to the pictures one. You know what I mean? Like meaning it, it kind of gives you something to share that's a little bit more than just emotion so like henry said i really like the fire because that people gather around the fire and i feel like that's what we're doing and it's sort of a symbol in that way i i liked that because that's a kind of furthering of the way he is like it gives you a glimpse into someone's the way they think and there's more to it than just okay um i am that picture so henry which one did you like uh i liked the one that we just did the uh, Word cloud? Yeah. Okay. Is it is part of it that you didn't have to identify who you were, or is it um, for the same reasons Mia had, or something else? Uh, well, kind, kind, yeah, kind of. Would any of them make you feel uncomfortable, or? Uh, not really, no. Okay. I don't think so. Can you imagine in class if people? I think I like the same one he did. You like the last one with the yeah. word cloud? Okay. So yeah. you were saying, can you imagine it being used in your classes? I was just asking Henry, like, because he's a different like stage and phase in life. If yeah. they were doing it in his class, there might be a lot of giggling, like, you know, <laughs> especially in the word cloud. I bet you there'd be some like <laughs> that were really goofy, right? <laughs> <laughs> like, <laughs> I can just imagine it, that's all. <laughs> <laughs> can you imagine it in class? Like if your teacher does one of these things? Oh no, look at you. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so I'm going to stop recording. Obviously folks can do different um, angles in all of these. Um, okay. Yeah, I'm going to stop recording. Yeah, sure.